Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Another day, bank holiday. It seems like we're having a lot of bank holidays of late. Or is it just me <laughs> working all the time? Um, but as you know, I don't mind. Today's weather is beautiful and I hope you're really enjoying it. Whether that's a deck chair at your back door, whether you've got some posh furniture, whatever's going on, I hope you're managing to get some sunshine on your skin. Um, it's coming quite often isn't it of late and it looks like we're in for a really really good week so thank you if you have come out of the garden to come and see the studio it is appreciated and if you are in the house and still unable to go out thank you for tuning in again we are here for 12 weeks every day apart from sundays um unless i'm at tv too but we are here three o'clock every single day with inspiration whether it be using our products or whether it be using something you have in your stash already if you are watching on youtube as, as always don't forget to click the subscribe button and if you are on facebook don't forget to pop a comment about the makes and if you've enjoyed it is it a technique you've done before will you give it a go did you give it a go and it went in the bin you know it's a lovely community where you can go and ask questions tell us your tales your troubles and everybody is there to inspire and help so for those of you who are new to the channel we have some new faces my name is tony Derrick, and i'm a guest presenter over on create and craft and just looking at myself on the screen there i do normally look better than i do today i've got an old rubbish jumper on it's warm outside and my hair looks like i've been in the wind for a week <laughs> um that's lockdown for you isn't it but hey ho i'm sure we're all the same well i'm hoping we're all the same and it's not just me anyway so if you have come to the channel for some inspiration you've come to the right place in today's studio i am going to show you two brand new craft academy stamps that were launching today if you have been buying the craft academy stamps thank you so much a pound from every stamp is going to our local food bank at the end of the 12 weeks to help them with the current situation and it's just a lovely thing that you can get involved in so basically you buy the stamp and you we do the inspiration a week later so today i'm launching two stamps but we are going to be doing the inspiration on the lovely explore stamp but as always the videos never go away they are always on youtube so if you do like one of the stamps that we've launched previously you can go back and buy it if you want to and go and still catch the inspiration on there too okay if you are watching the channel and haven't bought a stamp and don't want to buy a stamp that's also fine all you have to do is dig out what you've got in your stash you will have boxes and boxes and boxes of stamps and dies that maybe you could um, twin twist the inspiration that i'm going to give you today and turn it into your own unique design don't forget to click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell that lets you know when we're live as always if you are wanting any of the products i'm using today in studio all you need to do is go to stampsbyme.co.uk and in the search engine pop fbl and you will see in there all of the craft academy stamps that we've launched and you will see all of the products that we've launched maybe new ones um, things that i've used in demo so if you are wanting to do exactly that then you can buy them or again have a look in your stash see what you've got so we've still got a lot of viewers today, which is nice because it's Bank Holiday Monday, so probably a lot of people are out walking maybe, and um, it's hot, so a lot of people will be in the garden. So to those 155 people who are sat watching me right now, thank you so much for taking the time to come in and watch. I was a bit dubious today thinking uh, I were going to have any viewers today because <laughs> there's nothing worse than sat here and one person's watching. So welcome to all the lovely ladies that gents as well that join us every single day elaine paula adele selma tracy karen andrea shirley welcome everybody so let's just show you the brand if you have signed up for our newsletter you will have seen the two stamps that we're launching today some of you have probably already bought them in fact i know some of you have already bought them because i've seen them on the orders list so we're launching two stamps today the first the reason why we're launching two instead of one a week is because we had a few customers ask about saving postage could we launch two so we, ha we are launching two but please don't feel obliged to buy both if you don't want both you don't have to buy both and if you just want to get one you can it's your preference so this one is bu and it's got some beautiful florals on here and i'll just show you the stamp head on so you can see how big it is absolutely gorgeous and this is the next one in the collection so after the explore stamp we are moving on to this stamp okay so you've got two huge florals in there 
and some beautiful sentiments in there as well. And then the next one is the beautiful love one. Now, this is really different. I'm really excited. This is going to push my boundaries big time. And I have so many ideas for this one. I can't wait for this one, to be honest. So we've got the lovely solid heart in there. We've got the hands. And think about the current situation as well with lots going on. There's going to be lots of things I'm going to be able to do with this. Rainbows, etc. Um, so that's the next one. Quite a big one again. It's going to go on a 7x7, 8x8 card is that one. Tony time is better than sunshine time. Thank you for that, Aaron. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. But anyway, so those are the two that are now gone live today. Um, so you can go and purchase those if you would want to craft along with me. It's really easy to craft along. You don't have to have lots of supplies. Every card that I make, I try and use supplies that generally you will have in your stash. I won't be using complicated items, things that are rare, things that you can't get hold of or things that are going to cost you a lot of money. We keep it very basic. So we have maybe some watercolours or some ink pads, a little bit of embossing powder. Um, we haven't as of yet really incorporated many dyes either. So if you haven't got many dyes, you've come to the right place. And then what happens is you can take the inspiration away with you and twist it and make it into your own uni unique design with all the stuff you've got in your stash. So if you have all of those fancy dyes, if you have all of those fa fancy gilding flakes and waxes, and you can just go to town, can't you? But I just have to be mindful that we have advanced crafters, of course, and then we have beginner crafters too. So cost-wise, try and keep it as low as we can so everybody can get involved. And I hope that is okay. So I hope you've all got a cup of tea. It's so difficult to drink quietly with a mic on your neck. It sounds like I'm gulping. So let's set those aside. So the one that we're working on today is Explore. This is still available. So just going back to what I've just said, the inspiration will always be on YouTube. It never drops off. You can go revisit, go rewatch, go and play and just enjoy. So this is the one we're working on for the next three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I will just quickly show you the ones that we have already launched. There are a handful of these ones left. So we have Thank You, which is a real big one. And again, the inspiration for these is already there. All you need to go is Stamps By Me on YouTube and they're all there, self-explanatory. The pictures are there too, so you don't get lost. There we have the lovely smile with the beautiful swing. This was one of the favourite ones, I think. And then we have, what's next? My Adventure. This was a gorgeous one. I've loved them all. I have literally loved them all. And I know a lot of you have bought them all. They are obviously limited edition, edition once they're gone. They are gone. Uh, they won't be repeated. It's just part of our Craft Academy. And then we have Be Inspired, which is a beautiful one we worked on last week with the huge, huge blossom tree on there. And again, this was one of your favourites. So there are a handful of those left as well. Unfortunately, the others have sold out. And we're looking at doing a Christmas Craft Academy. I'm on with that. Uh, we're going to change it slightly though, I think. Not exactly the same, but we'll see how we go. Uh, we have to be quite fluid with the situation, don't we? But we'll see what happens. Let's have a look. So if you've ordered items with your brushes, what we're doing is the brushes have been dealt with separately because they were pre-order, they went onto a different database, so they've been dealt with separately. If you did have um, orders in with the brushes, they will go out with the brushes, if that's okay. So the brushes are being dealt with imminently. Some have gone, some are still waiting to be dispatched. Um, we still don't have staff in the building, unfortunately. But if you did order with the brushes, they will be sent out together. So please don't think things have gone missing because they're probably waiting to go with your brushes. Emails, as always, we are getting through them. And um, do you still have the wax seal kits on the website? Uh, they were on this morning. I can check that for you when I come off air and uh, have a look. If there are some available and they're not on website, I will load them back on for you. So let's just have a look. It looks like a lot of you are waiting. Do you know, it's been epic, hasn't it? Because my design team as well, excuse me, they've been waiting two or three weeks as well, bless them. Some of which have gone missing, which has been a nightmare. But 
I think just in the current situation, we just have to be grateful for things still going as they are and post service still working as it is. So, um, but if you have any major concerns and you need to chat to us about anything, you know, you can message us um, and we will get to back to you as soon as we can. But I just think the delivery service is just taking a little bit longer than traditionally and we all need to be patient, myself included. Right, that's um, Patricia Clark, I'm Isla Stamps. Um, that's just reminded me, um, for the ladies who watch day in and day out and were asking me about the daisy stamps on the Imala, um, I found two this morning and I've loaded them back on, please don't fight, <laughs> but I found two, so they are back on the website for that, so I think there was definitely one lady who wanted the daisy, so um, go and check that one out. Right, okay, so we're all positive, the sun is shining, um, let's craft. First of all, let's show you some samples. You um, showing you the lovely um, BU stamp set. So this is this one. This is the one that's coming up next. I'm going to show you some samples that I've made. Some really, really easy ones. So first of all, so, so simple. Stamp three times, a bit of watercolour on the bottom, a bit of sparkle. How simple is that? Card number one. So if you are a beginner crafter, so for example, Aaron, who is on the chat, is a beginner crafter. This is a great starting point for somebody who has only been watercolouring, stamping, die cutting for a month or so. This is a great starting point for you to build on top of. So basic stamped card. No technique really required on that one. And then what about the tulip? So in the set, so can we see that just on the side? So in the set, you get just move this over you can see here you get the lovely like daisies hydrangeas there could be potentially sunflowers if you wanted to and uh, the large tulips on there so this one's been splashed to heaven <laughs> with lots of metallic paints and things like that so again really really simple colored with some pencils and then splashed on craft card so something a little bit different and then some shadow stamping so shadow stamping in the background and then the foreground one has been coloured in the hydrangea colours and then fussy cut and then matte and lead on top. So you will hopefully be able to, hopefully you'll like at least one of the cards and then you'll be able to think right I want to make that card, um, I've got a stamp similar to that. Um, I'm going to get it out for next week and craft along. Or if you really like the stamp, you can go and get the stamp. So that's that one. What about just a delicate card this time? So white embossed, can we see that there? I don't know if you can see that. White embossed with a splash of colour all the way around, a little bit of twine, glitter card, and then matted onto some craft card there. Really, really simple. Again, I think it you know the, when the stamps are as nice as they are you don't really need much else so I like both daisy and tulips well the great thing about that one Janet is they both come in the same set you don't have to pick which is great so what about a bit of color then uh, onto a colored card blank so some stripes um, then just in black and white with the tulip on there and then um, Happy birthday from one of the other Craft Academy stamps on the bottom in black. Rita, I've been practising my bows. If this Craft Academy is about pushing your boundaries and let me tell you, those twine bows have pushed my boundaries. <laughs> oh, I will get good. My friend is actually sending me a bow maker. So I'm just waiting for that to drop and then I'll probably be messaging her saying, oh, how on earth does this work? I'll be like all fingers and thumbs. But hey ho. So that's that one. And then the last one I did is quite a different one with some patterned papers this time. So can we see that there? So white embossed days is popped a little bit of a colour wash, blended around and then picked some of my papers that I've just got in my stash from years ago, to be honest with you. So you've got a whole host of cards there, obviously using the same stamps, but using them in a different manner. So we have embossed ones, we have watercoloured ones, we have black ones. Um, we have ones coloured with pencils and we have ones coloured, let's just have a look there. So you will find a lot of these techniques 
are what we've been doing, oh, excuse me, over the course of, are we on to week seven? Craft Academy seven, hasn't it flown? It's absolutely flown. So you will see a lot of the techniques, we're trying to do variations of techniques and utilize them in all of our different stamps. So the um, prime example is when we use the stairs. Can you remember we did the heat embossing and we cut it up and we put black and white together. Um, what was the other ones? Last week we did the mix of embossing powders. So you had a mix of golds and silvers and then we've done panel stamping. So it's basically the techniques that are going to encourage you to pick up all the other things you have in your stash from myself and other lovely brands and um, elevate your card making. So let's have a look. Lorraine, I absolutely agree. Do you know it's about, I can't remember how many weeks to Christmas, honestly. That's why Craft Academy is going to be a godsend for me with the Christmas Academy because it'll give me the chance to make some Christmas cards this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my stamp and let's craft. So if you are crafting along, I'll just quickly tell you what we need. So I have a 5 by 7 card blank and today we're going landscape. So just a, a piece of A4 cardstock scored in half. So uh, if, you're, if you make your own card blanks, it's just scored in half an A4 piece of card. And then we have our black pit mat and layer. So this is just a little bit smaller, which is going to sit on top. And then we have another piece of white, which will just sit on top of there. And it's this piece of white that we're working on. OK, so um, just show you that there. So it's, can you see we've got our lovely border around and that's going to stick on there. It's this piece of card that we're going to work on. So five by seven card and then a black mat and layer and then the piece that we're going to work on. So today's technique is a little bit different but I honestly think that the today's technique you're going to be able to use um, over predominantly all the stamps we've launched so far and probably the ones that we're going to launch so that's cool and you'll get different looks for each one too. So what I've got here is some of my generation inks so I've got LG03 0Y04 and FU03 fuchsia, orange and a limey green colour. Okay, so you just need some inks. It doesn't matter if they are permanent, it doesn't matter if they are water-based, you just need some inks to get some colour down on this cardstock, okay? The reason why, and I will be using my distress inks as well, um, but the reason why I'm not using my distress inks first is they take ages to dry ages 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 and they hold so much moisture that with this technique I'd have to wait whole overnight to be able to do it I haven't got time for that as you know so I'm using mine because they're a fast drying ink and I know this technique is going to work really well because the ink dries super fast so three colors so you can use four colors five colors six colors you can use whatever you want okay there are no rules for what we're about to do so three ink pads, I'm going to use a blending brush. So I know you're all waiting for your blending brushes. Just use what you've been putting up with for however long um, until they land. Please let me know if anybody has got them as of yet. I think you'll all start getting them this week, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. Some orders are taking two and three weeks, honestly. But... We're all still here, we're all still crafting and having fun, aren't we? So the brushes are currently out of stock. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, once we have all the orders out of the door, if there are any floating around which have been missed, I will load them back on. But until that point, I can't risk loading any more back on until I have absolutely serviced everybody that's waited patiently. So until they're all out of the door, every single one of them, I will let you know. Okay, I'll let you know on here. How many sets of inks do you have? I'm up to about set five. Set five, they come in groups of five and they all come with reinkers. So you don't have to buy the ink pad again. They come with a bottle of... You can tell I've been tidying up, can't you? You get a little reinker as well. So you can paint with the reinkers or you can hydrate your ink pads. So let's craft or else we're not going to get anything done. 
Right, so I've just got a piece of tissue here so I can hold my card so I don't get any mucky fingerprints. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up some of this colour. Now, just get the colour on the card. It doesn't matter where you put it. Just get some colour on this card and get it as bright and as vibrant as you can. It doesn't matter if you get lines. It doesn't matter if you get marks. Just get some colour on there. So we'll go with that nice green. So I'm just going to clean my brush on this piece of scrap here. And then let's swap out to some orange. But you can use any colours. There is no format, no right or wrong. Just go for it. So let's get a little bit of orange down here. Like so, let's turn it round a bit. Let's pop a bit of orange up here. So if you've only got pinks and purples in your stash, pinks and purples would look fine. If you've only got browns and greens, just go for it. Just get some colour on this card. So there we go, so I'll just clean that. Then let's get some pink. Just move it into shot for you. And we're just covering that whole white. So, colour down. Let's turn this around. Like so. So it looks a bit like a tutti frutti ice cream or something at the moment, doesn't it? So GSM, it's just a piece of white cardstock, about 250 GSM, just normal cardstock from my stash, nothing fancy, it's not super smooth either, it's just a piece of white cardstock. Let's have a look. Stamping I use 250 and above for my stamping if I can. So I'm getting lots of bright, vibrant colours laid down. Just get a bit more on here, make it a bit brighter. And if you get any lines, don't worry about it, it's absolutely fine. So I'll just clean my brush. And then in this little gap, let's pop some more green. My brush has decided it's picking all the orange up off my mat now, which is fine. I think we'll go with that. Can we see that there? So what was a piece of white cardstock is no longer. It's a nice piece of coloured card. So let me just give my desk a spritz. Just so we can keep a nice tidy card or else we'll end up with mucky paw prints everywhere. You know what it's like. And I am the world's worst for paw prints, I really am. Right, let's move on to the next technique. So what I'm going to do is, just to make sure this is absolutely dry, although it is a fast drying ink, you can see it, is, it dries super fast, which is one of the great points of the generation inks. They dry really, really fast, and they're permanent when they're dry, so you can colour over the top of them. But just to be safe, I'm just going to use my gun, just to be safe.
if you are using distress inks I would encourage you to spend a bit more time drying because it, they hold so much moisture um, the technique will not work if the ink underneath is wet or has any moisture at all Just have a quick drink of my tea. Right, so let's move on to the next stage. So what you're going to need is your stamping platform or if you're using acrylic block, if, if you haven't got a stamping platform and haven't got an acrylic block, then maybe use your um, cutting mats as a, a like a large acrylic block okay just in case you haven't got the tools to do bigger stamping so what we're going to do is we're just going to pop this in our eureka here make sure my magnet's clean and then we're going to heat emboss so i'm using a an anti-static bag and i'm absolutely going to lather this in the anti-static powder it brushes off you don't ruin your work so get that ink sorry get that powder onto your artwork and make sure there is absolutely no moisture in that card. There we go. And then we're just going to take our stamp. And we're just going to place it onto our artwork. Just going to go a little bit lower. like so and then we're going to use a sticky ink pad which is a like a glue ink pad and we're going to use a clear embossing powder let me just make sure I've got that to hand there we go so you need a clear embossing powder a sticky ink pad Uh, Daffy is um, okay now. She was put on some medication for three days and um, she seems okay now, thankfully. I think what had happened was she'd eaten something that uh, Tommy didn't agree with. So as you can imagine, she was being a little bit sick and not very pleasant at all. We had to starve her for 24 hours, which was not very nice either. Not when you're trying to eat your tea. It's not very nice at all, but she's okay now. Thank you for asking. Pigment inks work fine. I just think pigment inks are a little bit more difficult to lay down on cardstock, but if that's all you've got, they will work. Okay, so basically all I'm doing here is I'm going to stamp onto this piece of colour here. Okay. Make sure you get all of that detail, give it a good push down. And I am going to do it twice because I don't trust that I can see from the side. But I mean, I'm going to do it twice just in case I've missed any detail. going to grab some scrap card just going to grab my clear embossing powder and we're just going to pop this over here so all you're going to do is going to cover that whole image in clear I'm just going to make sure we've got all that detail in there we have and if I've got any strays all I do is I just get a nice you can just see that on there just see if you can see it at the front just see that detail you can oh there we go look there we go what will happen is when we heat emboss this it'll disappear because it's clear and that's what we want to happen and then that's when we can move on to the next stage of our technique so I'm just getting rid of any 
flex that I've decided they want to go floating around. And now my Alexa's now talking to me. <laughs> It's a good job you can't talk at home. You'd be shouting, hey, Alexa, wouldn't you, all the time? Be careful saying that again. It's probably going to start again. So there we have our lovely image. So let's just get a tidy station. Just move this to one side for now. What we're going to do is we're going to heat set this one. So you get your gun hot. Um, the glue I use for sticking onto glitter card, is that what you mean, Phil? Is this one and it's the tacky glue from Kalal? Is that what you mean, sweetheart? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat set this one. I'm just getting my gun really hot because the more time off the card means less, less warp in my card. So I'm just heat setting this one and it'll go crystal clear. There we go. So there we have a lovely, don't think you'll be able to see it as of yet. There we go. Just a nice clear, crystal clear image on there. And then this is where we can move on to our next technique. So this is where we can use any inks now because it doesn't matter if it's fast drying or not. So I'm just going to grab my distress inks now. And I'm going to go... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try a variation of colours. So you need darker colours this time, guys. So I've got Seedless Preserve, Chipped Sapphire. Um, let's have a look at this one. Blueprint Sketch. We need some quite darker colours. We'll see what works. Wilted Violet. Shall we go with those few and see where it takes us? Right, so I just need my blending brush again. So um, let's go with let's go with purple first. <laughs> just jumped into my basket. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the. I might have to go a bit darker, but it's better always to start lighter and then build on it rather than going heavy-handed and not be able to pull it back. So I'm just going to grab a piece of white card so you can see exactly what's going on here. Right, so what we're going to do now is, what's happened is that the clear embossing powder has um, captured that colour underneath. So it doesn't matter what colour I put over the whole image here, um, the colour, those pinks and greens and yellows, are going to be captured in the tree... Um, under the bridge and it's going to hold it in place so fingers crossed you're going to be able to see the colour through the image that's if it works so let's go for purple first so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start brushing this purple all over the image it's not dark enough I'm going to be there all day so let's swap it out let's try chipped sapphire let's try this one little bit darker so again over the image there we go can you see the image so that that lovely clear embossing has captured that yellow and the red and the green underneath does that make sense I hope you can see it so I'm going to keep going <laughs> Still not quite dark enough, but I'm going to do this colour first and then we'll bring it to life 
in that way first and then we'll go darker okay and this is where you are going to need a tissue or something for the moisture in your hands because you'll end up with fingerprints in your work i'm just going to grab a bit of tissue if you don't have tissue you can put your lid of your ink and hold the id of, lid of your ink like so like that as you're going round rather than using a tissue so it stops the moisture from your fingers but i am just going to use a tissue because i do have tissue <laughs> Right, let's get this to look amazing. So I'm going to do this whole colour all over first and then it's going to help build the darkness that I'm trying to create under that captured image. This is going to look absolutely fab. I have absolute confidence that you're going to love trying this technique. So you just need some coloured ink pads and some lovely clear embossing powder, okay? So I'm just getting that colour on there. This is going to give us like a lovely night sky too. So it's not quite dark enough and I'm going to really, it's going to cause me pain to try and get it all to come out. So I'm going to go one stage darker. Make sure you do the same at home because if you go too dark, you will kick yourself. So the embossing powder that I've used is the clear one and it's the thirsty brush one. They come in a set of three. In my opinion, they are the best, and when you find the best, you don't use anything else. So they are on the website. They're on Claire's website too. Um, they're super fine, give great results. But you might have some in your stash. And pro probably most of you will. So I'm going to go in with this. That's better. Look at that. Can we see it's coming to life? Super exciting. lots of colour on there and the great thing about this as well is you can go round with like your black soot and really create like a beautiful textured scene absolutely gorgeous now you could do that if you bought the is it in my adventure one with the trees you could do this technique with that really get that colour on there and the more colour you get on there the more the image starts to come through can we see that there so let's get some colour in here so you know when we did our sun rays in one of the demonstrations you could incorporate that technique into here if you wanted to there's so many things you could take from other lessons we've had in the craft academy and util utilise it in so many different cards so I'm just gonna try and get it as dark as I can and then I think I'm gonna go one stage darker if I have the ink pad I'll see can we see it coming to life I hope you can all see that I can't really see with the lights in here but you can see it's coming to life. The more colour you get on top of here, the better. Oh, I've just... Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's going. Thank goodness. I'm trying to cover as much as this at the top because we're going to create a nice night sky. Let's just see if I've got a darker one. Let's see if this, um, I've got hickory smoke, let's see if that one will help. Doubt it will, but we can try. We can try. No, nope, not having an effect at all. So you're going to need to enhance it even more, something darker, so black soot. No, nope, I don't have a black soot. But you get the idea. get that colour on and then the more colour you get on the, the beautiful 
background comes through with those lovely colours that you tradition that you originally put down before we added the dark on top. <gasps> Dorothy Thomas Kincaid, one of my favourite. I wouldn't actually put it in that category, but um, yeah, <laughs> just needs a lamppost, doesn't it? So I'll keep. You could actually do an Aurora Borealis sky, actually. You know, with if you, give, if you gave it some thought into the colours that you put down first. You see that there? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to add some texture to the background here. So I'm just going to take my brush. I hope you like that. It's a great technique. Something a little bit different anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my brush. I've just popped it into some clean-ish water. I'm just going to pop some little spots on the back here. Not over the uh, image itself, but in the tree in the skyline. So we could make it quite snowy. Now just give it a second to um, activate the Tim Holtz ink. It won't activate the colour that's underneath though, which is my generation inks, because they're permanent, which is great, because you'll get the colour come back through. So I'm just going to take the tissue, I'm just going to give it a second to drink that water. And when you put your tissue on, let it soak up that water. If you put your tissue on too quick and you don't get the desired effect, just do it again. There we go, look. Just do it again. You can keep going and going and going until you're absolutely happy. Then all I'm going to do with my tissue is I'm just going to burnish that embossing, clear embossing, get rid of any of the blue ink that's sat on top so you can see we have the blue ink sat on top. So I'll give it a good burnish. Get that lovely colour to shine back through. And there we have... I am going to create a card with this, guys, so you can see it from beginning to end. See that there? How cool is that? Now, if you used your sparkle pens underneath and sealed it with your clear embossing, that would look cool because it looks sparkly underneath, wouldn't it? So let's carry on and make this into a card. I actually got through that quicker than I expected, actually. So let's just get a tidy station. Sorry, the colour that I used, which I, which I felt had a better impact, was the Blueprint Sketch. Um, albeit it's not the darkest on the sticker, but the colours never replicate the stickers anyway, do they? So, Blueprint, blue, blueprint Sketch. Say that after a drink, hey? So, what I've done ahead of time is I've heat embossed the word Explore, and I've done it in the gold. So, the Explore sentiment is actually in the set too. And I have a rectangle die just from my stash, just from what I've been using. As you can see, it's a red one, so for the past seven years. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to die cut a frame out of our image. So you can now decide which part of the frame you want to take out, leave in. Um, you can do it in the centre, you can do it up here in the top right if you want to. I think I am going to go up here because I absolutely love this and I think it's a shame to probably lose some of it. So let's go, let's go up here best we can. Try and keep it as straight as you can. Let me just get some tape, hold it in place. Let me just stand up, make sure it's straight. And then we'll run this one through. Then this card is going to be pretty cool, I think. Very gent, gent like, great for Father's Day.
And then we have an aperture in our card. Can we see that there? There we go. Got a lovely aperture in our card. So let's move on to the next step. So we have our lovely um, panel too and the word explore hopefully will sit just nicely in there. It is a little bit big so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sneak to the to my guillotine just one second ladies and gents. I'm just going to trim it down just so we get that lovely panel come through a little bit better. Hopefully this is better. Make sure I do it the right way because that's part of the tree there, isn't it? And then this goes perfect in there. Can we see that there? Yep, so let's get this card constructed. So we have our lovely black piece. And what we're going to do is I'm going to tape runner and glue. And just because it looks better instantly. Uh, when you use glue, you have to pop it under the Eureka and you have to do all of that. It's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? So I'm, yeah, I'm running my, using my tape runner as well. And I'm just going to pop them out on this onto this piece of black here. Hopefully nice and straight. Now you could use sparkle card, glitter card, metallic card if you want to, like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this in flat because what's happened, can you see my die's created an embossed frame and it looks really classy looking so I'm going to pop this in flat if I can get it back out. Now you can 3D pop some pads behind if you want to. So you can see there. And then this piece, we're going to pop some pads underneath just to create that little bit of elevation on our card. I'll pop one in the middle too. Yep, you can use pigment and dye and cues, whatever you've got in your stash. Pigment might be a little bit more difficult to blend, but if that's all you have, it will work. Give it a go. And then this black here, I'm just popping back in that recess so we have like a beautiful aperture. Can we see how that, I'll just show you that there. Look. So it's got like the embossed line around we have cut it out, but it's got, it, it's, it's, you can't really see it on camera, but it looks way classier than if we'd have put pads behind because you'd seen the black underneath. And then let's just take our lovely card. Yeah, but Roseanne, the reason I do it is because the dye puts an embossed line around which creates like you know if you buy a hand a painted card and they have that like um, frame around and you get the embossed detail around it looks like that you can see that there it looks really really lovely so I'm just going to pop this straight onto this card here you now you can put gems on and you can sparkle and you can glitter if you want to but that's it There we go. So you can see all that colour captured underneath there. Yellow. I did a bit of green, although we're not catching much of the green. If I'd have had a black ink pad, a black soot, I would have definitely gone round the edges and made the edges darker and made it more look like atmospheric, where it looks like you're looking into the image. It's just that I didn't have one to hand and it would have meant me running out of studio, which is not um, a great sketch. Um, but yeah, I would definitely go darker. If, if you do it at home, please go darker and pop your pictures on the Eureka fan page and let me see because I think if you go near on black, that coloured bit that you've captivated underneath, underneath the clear embossing powder is going to look stunning. 
Looks like you like that one, guys. I hope I hope some of you try it. It is, it is easy, isn't it? So lay your colour down, heat embossing clear, and lay some colour on top. There we go. Easy, easy. So Adele saying no. Why is Adele saying no? You'll be doing it, Adele. I know what you're like. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. I haven't done another one because I really didn't know how long that one would take. We've actually thrown flown through that one again to be honest with you but again a great technique that you can all try and probably enjoy I need a darker ink yeah so do I Adele um, so just a couple of things to tell you about them please don't forget that we have we are doing the card where if you want to send a card to stamps by me using any of these um, craft academy stamps we're going to dedicate a one hour live show with all the makes of people that have posted their cards in and we're going to show them in live studio and if there's any messages or comments or anything you want to share with everybody at the Stamps By Me family then you can do that. If you don't want it to be said or your card not to be shown I'll just pop it on the background for display um, but I'm super excited about that one. We've got, you've got about five or six weeks to get them into me though. And then what we'll do is we'll dedicate a show showing everybody's makes. If you haven't bought a Craft Academy stamp and you've still crafted along and you want to send a card, please do so. It doesn't have to be Craft Academy. But if you have been buying Craft Academy and you have been playing along, I do want to see what you've all been doing. So I hope you've enjoyed today's studio. I'm back with you again tomorrow at three o'clock with a different technique. We're not doing any of the cards that are on the back because I think they are self-explanatory. We might do the acetate technique because that is really, really different and some of you might want to try that one. So I will see you all tomorrow at three with some more exciting inspiration. Love to you all guys. See you later. Bye.